Assalamu alaikum and welcome to a new lesson. This is your teacher Naim. I hope that you enjoyed the last lessons. This is a, a new lesson, unit number seven. Again, welcome to Multimedia English Lab. So let's start. Unit number seven is concerning entertainment. So first of all, we're going to ask the question, what is entertainment? Simply, as simple as it can be, it's something which people enjoy doing for fun. For example, it can be an event, it can be a performance, it can be an activity. Okay, we're going next to see some examples of entertainment. For example, we can play video games, we can travel, we can play board games, we can go hiking, we can read books, we can see a play, we can play sports, we can play on the internet, we can cook, we can watch TV, we can watch movies, we can swim and uh, we can go to the amusement park. So these are some just an example. In your books, we have uh, this exercise, which is match the words with the pictures. On the list, we have spectator, poster, actor, clown, screen, circus, actress, stage, movie, theater. Okay, you've been given two examples there. It's uh, stage and screen. So, do you think, what do you call number one, picture number one? The guy is called clown, yes. Number two, yes, it's an actor, actor. But what about number three? Yes, it's an actress, actress. Next, we have spectators. Sometimes you may call them audience. Okay, picture number five, it's uh, a circus, yes, a circus. So, number six, what do you call this place? This is a place where you can go for entertainment, yes, we may call it movie theater or cinema. Now, that's, the last one is a poster, this is the big picture that you can see displayed on the outside of a, a movie theater showing the next coming film or movie. Now, next exercise, it's place the words in these list, lists. Of course, we have uh, three lists here. We have uh, cinema, theater and circus. These are just some places you can go for entertainment. Okay, for circus, we have been given the clown. Now we're going just to classify the words in exercise number one in the right column. So let's start with cinema. Of course, we can have actor, actress, spectators, poster, movie theater, silver screen, a movie or a film. For the theater, we can have actor also. We can have spectators also. We can have actress. We can have poster. We can have stage. We can have curtain and we can have a play. So I think I have added more words to each one of these uh, columns. Okay, the last one, we have a circus. Of course, we have clown. Also, we can have spectators in cinema, theater and circus. This is what makes it uh, looks good. Okay, we have also poster. We have animals. We have acrobats, we have magician, and the last one, we can have act. So in cinema, we're talking about movies, in theaters, we talk about plays, in circus, we talk about acts. Okay, in the part of communication in unit number seven, we have this first dialogue between Najat and Shela. If you look at the picture, we have two girls standing... Uh, facing each other and uh, on the 
Behind them we can see a poster, a film poster. And here is the dialogue that's going on between the two. Najat, what are you doing, Shella? We'll come back to this question, please remember it. Shella, nothing. I'm just looking at this poster. Najat, well, would you like to go to the sports club? Shella, mm, no. Let's go somewhere else. Najat, how about going to the cinema? Shella, okay, let's go. Okay, in this short dialogue, it's really nice. We have here some expressions as well as we are talking about entertainment. So, for example, number one, we have, would you like to? Would you like to? Number two, we have, let's. This is the most popular one. And the last one we have, how about? Plus verb, plus ing. Okay, here we are talking about expressing suggestions. Yes, suggestions. So, if you want to suggest something, of course, you can say, would you like to? You can see also let's, you can see how about doing something, for example. Now, next part, we are talking about mm, no and okay, let's go. So these are two expressions we can use to respond to suggestions. Respond to suggestions. So you can see yes or you can accept or you can refuse. If you accept, you can see okay. Or you can see simply mm, no. Next, we have some expressions as far as we are talking about suggestion. So here is a, a table for making suggestions and for expanding. So we have some expression here. Why don't we? What about? Would you like to? Let's. Shall we? Yeah, responding it can be yes or it can be no it can you accept or it can refuse so you can say for example that's a good idea sure i'd love to why not or you can refuse you can say sorry i can't i'm afraid i can't i'd love to but so these are some expression you can use when uh, talking about suggestion and responding next Time for some brain workout or mind workout. So, th task number one, put the dialogue in the correct order. <clears throat> Sorry. So here we have Yusuf and Tom, and the dialogue is simply are going to uh, write number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Task number two, it completes the exchanges below. So as far as we are talking about suggestion, we have uh, Sarah, Nancy, and Sarah. So we are going to complete this exchange between Sarah and Nancy. Number two, we have Adam and Jim. So we are going to complete this dialogue between Adam and Jim. So that's a kind of homework for you guys. And I think you are going to enjoy it the last but not least uh, thing you can think about is what kind of entertainment do you enjoy i think that you have a lot of things you think about many things but what is the best one what is the most entertaining thing that you like to do exactly especially at these in these circumstances of coronavirus quarantine. I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. See you inshallah next time. Bye.